People with asthma can become really good athletes, can compete in the Olympics even. Hello everyone, I'm Samantha Purbor and welcome to another episode of Let's Talk Wellness with Watsons. Today we'll be tackling some very important aspects of a very common condition, asthma including how it affects the body, how to manage it, and what we can do to help someone experiencing an asthma attack. But before we get into all of that, remember to follow us on Facebook, Instagram, and TikTok, and subscribe to our YouTube channel for more tips on anything health. Joining us today to understand more about asthma is one of the country's leading experts specializing in allergy and immunology. She also happens to be a pediatrician. She's also affiliated with the Ateneo School of Medicine, the American Academy and Philippine Society of Allergy, Asthma, and Immunology. Please welcome Dr. Michelle Devera. Welcome to the show, Doc. Thanks for inviting me, Sam. Hello, everyone. So, Doc, I think almost everyone is familiar with what asthma is. Maybe they have it themselves or maybe they know someone who has it. But to help us understand it better, Muna, what exactly is asthma? Asthma is a chronic disease that's caused by inflammation of your airways that causes people to have difficulty of breathing. So asthma can affect anyone, mm -hmm. but there are certain risk factors that increases your possibility of developing asthma. And so family history is very important. Mm -hmm. So if you have parents or a sibling that has asthma or allergies, it increases your risk. Mm -hmm. Allergic diseases, if you're born with atopic dermatitis or right. eczema or allergic rhinitis, mm -hmm. it increases your risk as well. There's also some evidence that in young kids who get a lot of respiratory infections, there are specific viruses that make it more likely that you're going to develop asthma. Environmental factors as well, pollutants, cigarette smoke in the workplace. So if there are hazardous materials or toxic fumes, those things can make a person develop asthma too. And lastly, obesity. Mm -hmm. So there's a lot of things uh, related to obesity, mm -hmm. but asthma is also one of them. And so it increases your risk for developing asthma if you're obese. There are so many factors pala affecting asthma. Pero doc, alam naman natin mga Pilipino, we have certain myths when it comes to asthma. Can you tell us about these few myths, whether they are true or not? The first one is that asthma is just in your head. That's mm -hmm. not true. It's a mm -hmm. real physical condition and there are evidence that your lungs are really inflamed. Some people say that you can outgrow asthma. Well, the symptoms will change over time, mm -hmm. but once you have asthma, you're always considered a patient or a person with asthma. And a number three, that asthma isn't serious. Mm -hmm. That one is dangerous to believe in mm -hmm. because unfortunately, for a lot of people, asthma can actually be life-threatening. And fourth, that you can't actually exercise mm -hmm. or be active when you have asthma. That's a total myth. With proper management, taking the right medications, patients with asthma or people with asthma can become really good athletes, can compete in the Olympics even. That is so true, Doc. I have asthma and I still engage in a lot of sports. Now, what exactly happens to someone when they are going through an asthma attack? So when someone is experiencing an asthma attack, the airways become really swollen because mm -hmm. like we said, it's inflammation. Yes. And then because of that inflammation, the muscles around the airways kind of tighten mm -hmm. and then there's a lot of mucus production. So this combination causes the airways to be blocked and obstructed. Right. And then you have difficulty of breathing, maybe coughing mm -hmm. or wheezing, and also chest tightness. There's also a few signs that we need to watch out for when mm -hmm. we're having an asthma attack. Mm -hmm. So coughing, that's yes. important. And sometimes the pattern is that it's more common, especially at night. Wheezing is that whistling or squeaky yeah. sound that people hear when they have an asthma attack. Shortness of breath, um, like you're catching your breath or you can't walk mm -hmm. um, a few steps and you're already catching your breath or you're breathless when you talk. And then finally, you can also feel chest tightness because it's so constricted. And can you tell us the difference between say, an asthma attack, a cold, and an allergic reaction? We talked about the symptoms of asthma earlier on. Mm -hmm. So an allergic reaction, like allergic rhinitis, for mm -hmm. example, can have milder symptoms. Mm. So you can have sneezing or runny nose, itchy nose, itchy mm -hmm. eyes. But it can also be very, very severe. Mm -hmm. And this is called anaphylaxis. Right. So anaphylaxis is the most severe kind of allergic reaction. 
and it can have symptoms like choking, mm -hmm. you can't breathe. Yeah. In fact, sometimes you can even go into shock mm -hmm. and then lose consciousness. And that's really scary. Mm -hmm. Asthma attacks can also be caused and triggered by allergens. Mm -hmm. So that's something to look out for. On the other hand, colds, sometimes it's easier because yeah. there's fever mm -hmm. and you know, you're achy mm -hmm. and you have like flu-like symptoms. And so those things aren't found in an asthma attack. But you can also have symptoms like runny nose, sneezing, congestion, coughing, which are ca caused by viral infections. But generally, if there's a fever or there are other symptoms of an infection, that's mm -hmm. probably more likely a cold. And this time around, Doc, can you tell me what exactly would trigger an asthma attack? So there are a lot of triggers uh, for asthma mm -hmm. attacks. Allergens mm -hmm. can trigger an asthma attack. So that would include pollens, mm -hmm. um, animal dander, dogs, right. cats. Dust mites, which is the most common allergen mm. worldwide. Irritants, so these are non-allergic stuff, but can irritate uh, your airways as mm -hmm. well. So that would include uh, cigarette smoke, strong odors or fumes. Mm -hmm. Infection is actually a very, very common trigger of asthma. For some people, um, strenuous activity or physical activity, mm. especially if you're not prepared for it or they didn't warm up enough, can cause an asthma attack. This is fairly common in the Philippines, so weather changes. So it's becoming September, mm -hmm. October, and so some people can have um, attacks as well. And then finally, um, we always blame stress. <laughs> yes. But that's true. Stress can trigger an asthma attack. And it doesn't have to be physical stress. It can also be emotional stress. Um, even happy stress, like if you're planning a wedding, for example, you can still get an asthma attack because of that. Mm. Oh, Ayan, guys, it's very important to know what our asthma triggers really are. Now, Doc, how can we manage asthma naman? Okay, before we talk about specific management, mm -hmm. I think it's important to emphasize that asthma cannot be cured. Mm -hmm. All right? But that being said, we can manage it. Yes. Uh, we can control our symptoms. We can make sure that people aren't getting attacks all the time. Mm -hmm. And many people with asthma can actually lead full, active lives. So when it comes to avoiding asthma attacks, yeah. it's important to know the following. So number one, if you know what your triggers are, avoid them. We talked about obesity being a risk factor for asthma. Mm -hmm. So if you're maintaining a healthy weight, yeah. uh, good diet, healthy living, uh, not having a sedentary lifestyle, keeping your home clean from irritants, working with your doctor. Your doctor will give you a, a plan of action in terms of like the medicines that you need to take, an asthma action plan, what do you need to do when you're getting attacks, uh, where you need to go when you have an asthma attack. And you were talking about medication, Doc. Can you tell us the differences between these different medications, please? The first one, uh, they're called quick relief medications. Yes or the other word for it is rescue. Mm -hmm. So, and as the name implies, it will rescue you from an attack. Yes. So these are, you can use an inhaler, for mm -hmm. example. What it does is that it opens up your airways um, immediately. But another important medication are maintenance medicines or preventive medicines. Mm -hmm. Again, as the name implies, it will prevent you from getting attacks. Yeah. And you're hoping that because your maintenance medicines are very, very good, you will need less and less of your rescue medicines. Mm -hmm. So maintenance medicines include, um, you know those inhalers that patients with asthma use? They have steroids in that. Mm -hmm. There are tablets that you can use as well mm -hmm. to take care of the inflammation in your lungs. Recently, another kind of maintenance medicines called biologics mm -hmm. um, have been introduced. These are medicines that target specific inflammatory molecules. So right. these biologics block those molecules. Mm -hmm. But of course, Doc, for those who don't have asthma, paano naman nila matutulungan yung mga may asthma? I think that's a great question, Sam. So there are a few helpful ways for us to support patients with asthma. So don't panic. Be calm so mm -hmm. that you can provide emotional support that's true. to the person who's having an asthma attack. Mm -hmm. And I cannot emphasize this enough. Please don't smoke. Mm -hmm. Don't smoke around them. People say, you know, I smoke outside. Yeah. But when they come into the room or the house, they smell like smoke. That's and true. And so, you know, there's secondhand smoke, there's thirdhand smoke. Be mindful of strong odors, mm -hmm. uh, even perfumes and scents. Mm. Uh, these can trigger asthma attacks. Ensure that they have access to the medications that they need. So know where they are and also know where to get them. So now when someone is having an asthma mm -hmm. attack, you may help them by, first things first, stay calm. Mm -hmm. If you're calm, 
they will be calm as well. And so they might not have as much as a hard time breathing. If you can assist them with their medication, that's very helpful. So if they don't know how to use their inhaler or they need um, other devices, mm -hmm. um, you can help them with that. Encouraging them to sit up, yeah. take slow breaths, mm -hmm. that will help them breathe better. If you really need to call emergency services, yes. call an ambulance, especially if the attack is very severe. And then finally, you know, reassuring them, mm -hmm. uh, making sure that they're comfortable, give emotional support. This is certainly very important for you to help people with asthma. Doc, thank you so much for such insightful advice for today. I'm sure makakatulong itong lahat to help our loved ones with asthma. Now naman, Doc, are there any key takeaways that you would like to discuss as we wrap up our talk for today? Well, Sam, here are some things to remember mm -hmm. about asthma um, in conclusion of our talk. Number one, like we said, even though asthma is not curable, it is manageable. It can be effectively managed with the proper treatment, yes. talking to your doctor, uh, making a plan. Number two, know your triggers. We talked about yes. a lot of triggers. And so there are allergens, mm -hmm. irritants, pollutants, environmental um, irritants. Please avoid them. Take your meds. When your doctor says you need to take your maintenance medicines, you need to take it every day. It will help your healthcare provider figure out if the medicines are working, uh, how they're working, how much dosing you need, and it's really essential for controlling your mm -hmm. asthma symptoms. We said earlier about talking to your doctor or healthcare provider yeah. about an asthma action plan. Mm -hmm. That's actually very important. The action plan tells you when to use your rescue medicines, when to go to the emergency room, mm -hmm. how often you need to take your medicines. Mm -hmm. So it empowers the patient uh, to manage your asthma uh, in that sense. And it's very personalized, so it's not uh, a generic plan. Mm -hmm. And then a healthy lifestyle. So maintaining a healthy lifestyle, eating healthy, mm -hmm. exercising. So if you have family members who have asthma, please support them. Uh, make sure that their environment is clean, yes. free of the triggers. And finally, always consult with your doctor to tailor the management of your asthma. Mm -hmm. Regular checkups, open communication with your doctor is certainly essential. With the right management, mm -hmm. Uh, with the right doctor, you can certainly manage your symptoms. Mm -hmm. You are in control of your life. You can lead a wonderful, healthy, enjoyable life, even if you have asthma. Very well said, Doc. And thank you so much for taking the time to be with us here today. And thank you for inviting me, Sam. I'm sure ang dami nating natutunan from Doc Michelle about asthma for today. Kaya naman, to help us remember all of her important points, we have our Watson's pharmacist, Danica, with us today to join us for a quick refresher game. Hi, Danica. Welcome to the show. Hi, Sam. I'm so glad to be here with you today. Now, before we head on straight to the game, can you tell us about any important points that stood out to you earlier while we were having the discussion with Doc Michelle? I'm so glad you asked, Sam. So for me, mm -hmm. one thing that really stood out is that asthma can be life-threatening if not mm -hmm. properly managed. Mm -hmm. And we as pharmacists, we have the chance to advise and educate our patients on these conditions and really emphasize the importance of knowing the factors that triggers asthma and of course to seek medical advice for proper treatment and medication. That is so true Danica but thank you so much for sharing that with us. Now I think we're ready to play a game and we're going to play Tuloy Mo Lang. So we'll be flashing incomplete statements on the screen that's related to asthma care. All you have to do is complete each of them with the right words. Game ka na ba Danica? Yes, game na tayo dyan, Sam. Alright, so the first statement is managing asthma includes regular checkups and having an the answer is action plan an action plan helps align schedules and steps to take during an asthma attack exactly Danica now the next statement is allergies can trigger the answer is asthma attacks mm -hmm. that is why it is so important to know your allergies when you have asthma and finally during an asthma attack the muscles around the airways Tighten. Muscles around our airways tighten when you have asthma, leading to difficulty in breathing. That's a perfect score for you, Danica. Thank you so much. Oh, diba? That was fun and very educational too. Thank you so much, Danica, for playing along with us for today. Thank you so much for inviting me, Sam. I had such a great time too. 
From making significant lifestyle changes to taking the right medications to ensuring you've got the right equipment for your asthma, you can always count on Watson's to be there to support you. Get your health and beauty needs via the Watson's app and at 1,100 plus stores nationwide. For asthma tips and essentials, find it at Watson's. You can also get your maintenance medicines and wellness needs delivered to you monthly through our Watson Subscribe and Save program. For more information about health and fitness equipment, don't hesitate to ask your Watson's pharmacist. And of course, don't forget to like us on Facebook, follow us on Instagram and TikTok, and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Getting the right kind of nebulizer is crucial in managing asthma. That's why Watson's has a range of nebulizers that are packed with features that are tailor-made for your needs. Let's take a look at some of them. Comp Air Compressor Nebulizer NEC801 is highly efficient and reduces medication wastage. It's also compact, lightweight, low noise, and easy to clean. Get Well Nebulizer is ideal for home care use and features a unique nebulizer kit holder. It also makes replacing filters convenient. Get Well Ultrasonic Nebulizer is lightweight, low noise, easy to clean, and easy to use with its one button operation feature. Omron Compressor Nebulizer NEC28 delivers optimized nebulization with its medication capacity of up to 7 ml. At Watson's, we have a wide range of health equipment and medicines. You may get them through the Watson's app or at the 1,100 plus stores nationwide. I'm Savannah Pervor, thanking you all again for joining us and reminding you that when it comes to asthma tips and essentials, find it at Watson's.